so we're gonna start with Flash Games. This is a logo <laughs> that John Full Sauce made, which I mean, bravo. Thank you for using Adobe Flash Player. Listen, yeah, they're um they're ending support December 31st. There will be a version, I believe, called Ruffle, will um, allow you to play Flash Games. But for now, I'd like to say that I grew up playing Flash Games, early internet. It wasn't easy to get yourself some video games for Freezy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that was terrible. It was, though. You could, but Flash made it easier. And um, people would be on Newgrounds, and you know there would be like Flash game collections, and it was really cool to be able to see what people made. And these were the games that we played in the early days that were just kind of primitive and, you know, a little cheesy. A lot of stick figures. But it didn't matter because we had them. In fact, at one of my jobs, I remember playing a lot of tower defense flash games. And then in college, I was also supposed to be doing basic, very basic programming and was instead playing flash games. Uh, so this is part three. Did you get fired for that? No, no, I got fired during the 2008 financial collapse. But um, that's a whole other story. So, <laughs> that's a different thing entirely. Uh, so, why don't we play some Flash games? Now, if your favorite Flash game isn't here, chances are I might have done it in a previous segment. So, you can look for that. Um, what do we start with, chat? Thank you, Vincesity, for vetting this. And thank you, Silver Casket and T-O-E-C-K-O-E. Toko, for helping me get these together. Adventure of Blob Blob? Sure, why not? Hmm. I like how it says play more games. Where does that go? It stopped a potentially unsafe operation. Yeah. Games of Gondor. Yeah. No, I'm good. Let's see what Blob Blob is. I don't remember this. Welcome to Burger Kong. Can I take your order? Medium hamburger. It, it's so perfectly Thank flash. You. Oh, God. I've never played it, but I feel like I have. <laughs> Was that a crazy hamburger? Amazing sounds already. Uh, so this loop is not going to get old for the music. Nope. This is why I sheep on the flesh games. I'm sorry, no amount of nostalgia could fix this this audio loop. Oh, it's like Mario, you can actually stomp on enemies. Um, again, back in my day when the game was the game, we jump for bananas and land on purple crocodiles all day, and we loved it. We didn't give a single fuck. It was free. The camera is certainly good, isn't it? In a platformer, the best type of camera is the one that gets you all the way to the edge of the screen so you don't know what you're going to find next, like a, a rotating rockworm, for example. But that's the cool thing about Flash games, you know, it really wasn't something that we were familiar with, like, I don't know, coming from console gaming, and then the computer kind of had some you know, shitty computer games, and then people were making games in Flash in their own bedroom. And some of them were pretty good. Some of them were really good. And I played several of those in my previous Flash streams. So, it can be done. But for every amazing game, there were, let's see, four Bubas games, six 
stick fighter games, and a couple really bad attempts at making a good game from people who are inexperienced, which, I mean, fair enough. God, it was just, on Newgrounds, it was just dress up all the time, like, dress up Frozen Elsa. This is before Frozen Elsa, never mind. Uh, dress up, um, what was popular at the time? It doesn't matter. Princess Peach. Lara Croft Tomb Raider. It was just like, you just have to, like, put different clo clothing on the character. Naruto. Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. The Winterlands. Some different music. This is a very simple platform. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. There were a lot of Final Fantasy VII spoofs. Final Fantasy VII was very popular for very many years. And even though 8 and 9 came out just before, like, Flash games became, like, really popular, not as much stuff for 8 and 9. Many more stuffs for Final Fantasy VII. Remember the Impossible Quiz games. I believe I've streamed Impossible Quiz. Wow. Okay, I think I've had enough of this one. You get the idea. It's, it's just, um, it's cool. You know, it's, it's cool. It was cool because it was cold in that area. Now I'm going to show you something that I remember. Please stop me if I've streamed this already in recent memory. Zelda Lampshade of No Real Significance. Vinny, yes you have. I think I might have, yeah. Alright, I'll play it again. Why not? This is one of the ones I remember growing up, so it was, it was a good one. Yep. Let me make this a little louder. Previous game was very loud. This one's pretty low. Take it to the temple in the north. Um, I mean, we didn't have a million Zelda fan games. We had a couple. We had ROM hacks and stuff, sure, but... Logging on to Newgrounds or Albino Black Sheep or whatever and seeing this... It was, like, kind of fun. It's like, oh, I get to play as Link, but I can't use my sword. Look, it's instead of Dampy, it's Dumpty. Get off my shover. Shover? Get off my shovel, or I'll go Devil Trigger on your ass. Life as a grave digger is a little boring. I miss my handguns too. <laughs> the shovel just doesn't cut it when I'm fighting demons. Is that Hayachi? Yeah. I just want to die. Namco won't kill me off. I'm dug my own grave with flowers and a vase and everything. Hands off my vase. People are saying that that's, um... Topical. High school? These were not the most technically proficient games in the world. Uh, sometimes it was very difficult to enter a building, for example. Hey, I'm Dim of Super Flash Bros. I wonder what Randy, or when Randy, will bring me the latest advertising payment. Old Sonic the comics are piled against the wall. Some hair products are on the dresser. PS2 controller has been thrown down onto the floor. The message on the TV says, Acta est fabula. I don't know what that means, but there's also a GameCube here.
Fun fact, but the people that went on, uh, that made this went on to make snipper clips. Oh, no shit! There used to be a frog in this pond, but it ran away. That's cool. I mean, that's... You know, look it up yourself. I don't know, it's just a chat member said that, but I don't think that chat member would lie about it. That's cool! I'm going on a jungle mission soon. Need to practice my stealth. <sighs> Link. Going on a jungle mission soon. Hi, I'm Richie Zerbies. I'm working really hard on PK4 and the PK game. This is a reference to Perfect Kirby. So this is like a bunch of references to a bunch of different Flash games. This would have been better in you know, the time it came out. I- I remember playing it then, and I probably knew some of the references, but... It's good for this stream. I'm Gherkin Man, revel in my weirdery. <laughs> Hi, I work here over the summer, but I keep burning myself. All this greasy food is doing nothing for my hair, I need to sort it out. Just randomly have Samus sitting at a- at a, you know, a McDonald's, sure. Penguin of Doom. Enjoy the movie. Mm, popcorn. Uh, Rubber Ninja! Oh shit, it's Ross! <laughs> yeah, we talked about this. Ross and I talked about Newgrounds for a while one night. It's funny that he would be here. Um, we might be stamping down on prices, but we don't seem to sell any PCs. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm not a plot character, but I'm still in the game. Power to the NPC. Is this like 20 years ago? Yeah. Well, Ross and I are around the same age. I think that's a different gen, chat. Let's see. I'm waiting to get Tom Phelps' autograph, but I'm getting peckish. I only like helpless animals to eat, though. There is Thomas Fulp. I've, um... I met Tom Fulp a couple times. And it was, like, one of the weirdest fucking experiences of my entire life. Because when I was growing up, Tom Fulp was, like, like really famous to me. And then finally meeting him in, like, 2015, I was like, wow, first of all, this dude hasn't aged a day. And second, he's really cool. And then we reminisced about the old days. I was like, wow, this is like... This is like reading, uh, meeting, um... Norman Reedus. I don't know why I said Norman Reedus, but reading, Reedus, why not? Welcome to the Top Secret Newgrounds headquarters. We can finally set up an office, yoink. Guarding the temple, I missed lunch and I'm starving. Take this money and get me some food, could you? I'll have a burger and a Sprite. Get a bunger. So sorry, we're all out of meat. Just sold the last burger to a guy... To guy in the orange shirt. Sorry, I was just drinking some pulp. I was very thirsty. Hmm, that burger was dead tasty. You you ate it? Well now what? Find Randy. I can't believe people actually know 
how to play this. Like, remember it. So that that's, um... Um, it was a pretty easy, easy hint. Give money to the dude in the bottom right house. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to focus on presenting this as well as playing it, so I miss very easy, obvious things. I apologize. That's dim. Bag of money. Now I can buy a revolution. Please take that spray bottle on the dresser as a gift. The revolution was the codename of the Wii. That's what we thought it was called for like a year and a half. That is so fucking weird. To see it referred to as the revolution. It goes from revolution to... It was a revolution in some really not good ways. This is waggle, waggle, waggle. But when it was good, it was good. It had some. To be fair to the Wii, you know my disdain for the motion controls when it was waggle. But pointing at the screen and shooting was sometimes good. So, <clears throat> can I take those hair products? You can have this free toy I got with my Happy Meal. Tiny Extreme Iron. Deadly if swallowed. Okay, where does this go? If we didn't have Wii, we wouldn't have gotten today's VR. You might be right. You might be right. There was a big VR craze in the 90s that was just awful. And then they just let it rest for a while. I think, it, if anything, it just brought some interest in the field, but I don't think it made VR happen. I think it inspired it to be looked at again. That's my guess. What's this iron? This little iron, maybe I should chew on it. Ugh, make sure no one steals my vase. Rip. There's a little water left at the bottom. Get used to hearing this music. Are you? Good. That vase will work in the well. There's a frog in the water, you can have it. Frog of Legend. This frog has a worldwide fan base as well as being quite tasty. Hello. I am a legendary frog. Wait, I know. Solid snake wants a solid snack. You've brought me a frog to eat? Thanks. Here, take this tiger face paint. It's not lowering my camo index enough. Great for stealth missions and kids' parties. If I collect all of these frogs, I get the stealth camo. Or I could do a no alert playthrough, which is easier. Rare frogs. Vinny, were you disappointed SantaCon was cancelled? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Whoa, these face paints are cool. Here, take this. I've got like 20. It's a taser. Keep away from water and small puppies. Um... No, probably not Snake. Talk to the orange person? Burger was dead tasty. Oh, I can wake up the sleeping person. Sawcon. Yeah, Sawcon these... Uh... You know? That water didn't wake him up. He needs to be shocked awake. 
Maybe the taser will wake him up. Oh. Is, is dead? A single book lies in the bookcase. The official cheat guide to life with pull-out secret section. Final Fantasy XI on the computer. <laughs> Poor JT. Ah, oh, well, I get his stuff. You can have his light gun, though. Could be Dan Paladin, DP. Dumpty! And it doesn't surprise me that Ross is in this game. That dude's always been very social. He is, like, really easy to get along with. He, he knows many peoples. Thanks for the handgun. You can take that shovel if you want. Doesn't have a DT mode, though. Yeah, he was popular in the Newgrounds days, too, but... He's also just a really... Um, easy to get along with dude. Tool of choice for gravediggers and ex-zombies alike. Hey, wait, this gun is made of plastic. Hmm. Zombie was a popular Flash series then. Oh, I have to dig the grave. Oh, oh, there we go. It's, um, human corpse. The meaty flesh hasn't had time to rot. Oh good, we can make burger. This was also pretty emblematic of Newgrounds humor a lot of the time. If this goes exactly where I think it goes. Hey, you've got some meat, good quality too. We'll make you a burger right now if you want. Hmm, so that's why they taste funny. Yep. Long pig. Hey, you finally got some food. What took you so long? Thanks anyway. Ah! Dead. The feng shui of the room was perfected. <laughs> That's really all you had to do. Like, if you didn't have to do the trading quests, that would have been over in... Mm, three minutes. Just as pointless as I remember, says a chat member. I remember it being pointless, but... that was even more pointless. Vin, study hall is almost over. You gotta get to math class soon. Yeah. That is... What you just did was give me Ajita. Two thousand eleven. Um, what the fuck is this? Good thing I chose English. It's Chuck Norris. Oh, it just spelled weird. What was this? It's so loud. It's so loud. I feel like this is still after the Chuck Norris thing had peaked. <laughs> Chuck Quidnor Norris wins. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he man, perfect. Yeah, I've never played this. Oh my god. Oh, 
for those that don't know or don't remember, Chuck Norris was the subject of many internet memes and Chuck Norris facts about how Chuck Norris does a push-up, he doesn't push himself up, he pushes the world down. It was just that over and over and over again. And, um, it inspired many people to watch shitty action Chuck Norris movies. I say shitty. There were some fun ones. Someone said it was rough going before humor was invented. Invasion USA is a really fucking funny movie. Um, yeah, that, that movie's good. Oh my god. And then the moon appeared and the shadows had gone thanks to... For Chuck Norris, our hero. Nobody and nothing can damage him, never. Uh... Well, there you go. And that was good enough to entertain us. We would play that like seven or eight times. Shift. Start the game already. Um, welcome to Shift. I think I've played this. Yeah, I have. Yeah, this is another classic. Rotate the lock. There you go. Sometimes shift is the only thing left. There you go. Yeah, pretty simple concept, but it worked well for puzzles. It was just like free indie games every day. I said to jump more good. There we go. And success. This might have inspired shifting worlds on the 3DS. Played that. Some good brain hurt in this game. If you're looking for brain hurt, same dev. <laughs> what do you mean, same dev? Chat's gonna tell me that they th this dev made a game called Brain Hurt, and I would believe it. Devin same. Vinny, they did. <sighs> Gangster Bros 1.1. Oh my god. So, I don't remember this. Mario, Luigi, Mr. T. <laughs> Why? I'll have to choose Mr. T at some point.
cool, Mitty. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. But this is totally something I would have played and loved. Shit. Yeah, Mario with a gun was the most popular genre of Mario. Everyone had the same idea when making Flash games. What if Mario had a gun? There we go. Some say Mario legally owned a gun. Luigi, this is my 49. Sorry, 45. I don't know why I said that. 49 is a weird year. Don't worry about it, Luigi. Mario, why do we need this? The Scapelli brothers, Luigi! You never know. Lakitu's and flying machines dropping bombs. I don't know why Nintendo never returned to the Scapelli brothers, you know? Like, in the Mario movie, they were like the main antagonists, aside from Koopa. Competing plumbers. That's such a good idea. Like, Nintendo does not lean into Brooklyn or the plumbers enough. They, they have so much to work with, and they keep going to princesses kidnapped by Bowser over and over and over again. Yeah. Uh... So, yeah. I'm not gonna be playing through this. I need a password to the last level. Someone said the last level was good. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be playing as Mr. T. Castle. Oh, okay, well there you go, last level. It sounds like the gun, you know, when uh, you cock the gun, it sounds like oh, like a turtle having uh, coitus. I don't like it. Skateboarding hammer bros. It's like the, sp <laughs> the Spelunky UFOs. Proto Spelunky UFOs. <laughs> the fucking noise, I hate it. I think we just put old Yeller down. I don't like it. Oh my god. Thank you, Mr. T. <laughs> You've saved me. <sighs> Jesus. 
chat. What would a Flash showcase be without Quop? Perhaps one of the most famous Flash games of all time. Everyone knows it. I have most certainly played this at various times in my life. But for the four people that have never played Quop, watch me Quop. I'm a master at Quop. Get that copyright claim from Vangelis. Chariots of Fire, fuck yeah. That's okay, you won't be hearing a lot of it, so... Probably won't get claimed. You have to actually win at Quop to hear the, <laughs> the fucking music. Vinny, do you remember when Mike Stoklaza played this? I do, yeah, he was on Previously Recorded, and he was playing Quop, and he was just jiggling. He did the jiggle strats. I mean, they work. I used to know how to play this. I could get to like 50 meters. No, I'm serious. Chat is posting kappas like they don't believe me. Jiggle strats. Jiggle strats! Vinny, did you play... Alternate... That's a... The sequel to Quop. I believe I have, yeah. Sorry, I just had a brain moment. Oh! This is almost too obvious for this pack. There we go. I'm good. <laughs> and yet, I have a feeling people would watch. Like, Quop is one of those games that just people love watching people fail at Quop. Everyone fails in a different way. Vinny, if you get to 10 meters, I will donate one sandwich. Goal set. You said negative 10 meters, right? Tap O lightly, then alternate QP and WO. I need to get to 10 so that the chat member will donate a sandwich. So now I'm I'm actually um doing worse than I was doing a minute ago. This could be the rest of the stream. I mean, it is Quop.
No, 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 no. Go up, go up. You know what this needs? Can I get that? Can I get that Mario Party music? You know the Mario Party music I'm talking about. You know exactly which track. What was that? Is that a Rick Astley cover? Is that a gnome? Thank you, you got it. Wasn't this song written by the dude that made the Chrono Trigger soundtrack? No, I'm serious. Mitsuda, I believe. He, he made some wacky fucking music. Oh my god, chat, I, I don't know how much more I can co-op. I really don't know how much more I can co-op. Five more minutes at most. Not even five minutes. I'm gonna get to ten meters. Oh! Do less O at the start, okay. Imagine coming up with the idea for this. Inventing the Ministry of Silly Walk single-handedly. Stop! I mean, quap! One more. All these years later, and I'm still quapping. God! One more. Same creator is getting over it. I know, Bennett Foddy. Here we go. This is it.
<laughs> Fuck! No! That sandwich was mine. Fuck! I can't believe this. All these years later. I'm so- I can't believe I still don't know how to play this game. Scraped knees. I'm just gonna let the YouTube autoplay. It's like Russian roulette for copyright claims. Chat. Chat. I can't do it. Yes! Good enough! I had a rhythm. For a very brief moment in time. I figured it out. I probably will never get it like that again, but... My sandwich now. It's so... Like, precise. Why is everyone wasting? I did something good. Why are you wasting brain cells? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I had it for a second. I'm good, I don't need to do more of this, but it is very addictive, as you know, as many of you know. Addictive to watch and play. One second, chat. No, one second, one second, one second. I think I got it. I think I got it. I mean, I already got my my goal, but I think I figured it out, like how to co-op properly. Cooperly. Fuck. A uh, kind of. The majestic stride. I figured it out. Kind- kind of.
trying to figure out how to cooperatively run. Wow, is it addictive? All right, last one. Here we go. No wonder this game became as popular as it did last time. Here we go. Fuck. All right, next is a game called... Wow, it was really tough to pull myself away from this. Hurdle Turtle. Mental. What is it loading? The entire internet? Yeah, my GPU is not equipped to handle this. Wrong button. I got it. I had to right click it and click forward. Hurdle Turtle Flash. I don't think I've ever actually played this. It's it's Quop esque. These sound effects were also used in Legend of Dungeon. Good music. It sounds like a key gen. You're about to get Adobe Photoshop for free if you play Hurdle Turtle for 25 minutes and break the record. I mean, um, Adobe Virus Shop. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I can't blink! It won't let me blink! Oh my god. I looked over at chat, and it was distorted from the hurdle. Hi, uh, yes, I am the streamer that got over 200 on Hurdle Turtle. Play on your Xbox, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't think I want to play more of that, but, um, that, my eyes started to water. Going up. Here was another logo. I don't know who made that. I forgot who made Oh, Sitkinator made this. But anyway, going up. <laughs> Keyboard for to pros or mouse for to laces. Hmm. 225 and Hurdle Turtle. Going up? Nope. Oh, you can wall jump. To pros. Is that a Dragon Quest slime? You can kill the slimes from under. Alright, well now I have to find out. Good, good! Yes. Go to the shop for upgrades. Upgrade wall jump for 25 skulls. Upgrade health for 300. Double jump upgrade. Uh, we can get wall jump upgrade. Good. Oh. Yeah, awesome. The fact that this has a shop makes it a lot more fun. Like, I'd actually get addicted to this trying to get all the upgrades. Careful, pal. bird. <laughs> yes! What? No! Oh, those, those little ones. Oh, right. Oh, good. A 
Addictive. Another very addictive game. Did chat see a funny number? Yeah, the next upgrades are a while from now. Chat, I could play this for a long time. But we're gonna do Kenjivania. Cripple Tears? What? Okay. Different is a word that people never say to me, but imply nonetheless. I missed one. Addition's only a big deal if you make it out to be, they said. Imagine the cynical angst brooding and radiating out of me at the time. Imagine a self loathing teenager admitting steaming emo against every living thing in the world. I'd rather reality hit me like a truck. This is, um... This is a parody of a visual novel about physically impaired teens. Oh boy. How is this left in the pack? And then it turned into this? Okay, well now it's, like, good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I am playing this with a stunned look on my face. Damn it! Damn it! Is this Personers? <laughs> it's so... It plays like cheese. It really is not worth... It wasn't worth it. That is astounding. That is absolutely astounding. noise I just made in real life. Ooh. It's based off of a visual novel. It's parody of romance visual novel. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, that definitely felt very romancil- romancin- ro- rom- romancical? Handless Millionaire Season 2? Your right hand has been cut off, left hand shakes more. Continue. What is this? Oh, is ice. I can't tell you how relieved I am that that was ice and not Spujin. Spujan.
back in my day, this was the game we had. And this is how we would play the game. Oh. We'll just let it vacuum it up. Fine, chat. All good. <laughs> Your left hand is gone too. Our doctors do not recommend you play any longer. Trying to connect to a site that no longer exists. Divine intervention? What is Henry Rollins doing in this game? Also, chat seems to be familiar with this game. A lot of chat, at least. Of course. This is not the priest that kicks ass for the Lord from Dead Alive, but close enough. I think I've played this. Oh fuck, I have played this! Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, things were just overly gory, just for the sake of it. Nice fucking hitbox! Infinite ammo. Oops. Arm. Wow. Video games. Infinite lives. All guns at start. It's just three guns. Christ. The Redeemer. Again, this was my gaming growing up, uh, so I'm fairly desensitized to a lot of shit because I played games like this. Wow. 
I've had enough chat. I've had enough. Epic battle fantasy. It's a Comic Sans. Oh no. Twenty three ba bombs. I'm ready. Let's go. Hey, I know this music. All right. Well, so I said Final Fantasy IX didn't get enough attention. This is the Final Fantasy IX battle theme. It's a little crustified, but I'll take it. So I guess I have to stream Final Fantasy IX again. <clears throat> you know. All I have to do is hear one song from the game, and I'm like, I should stream that game again. No, I'm good. I'm doing six. Final Fantasy VI is also quite good. Someone in chat told me to do that, and it worked. That's the scary part. Will you do Final Fantasy VIII or X at some point? At some point, I would imagine I would do both of those. At some point. This could be any time between now and the next 10 years. I might do it at the age of 45. You never know. It's a Moogle. Pichu? You can summon Pichu? What the fuck? I mean, for what it is, this is pretty cool. I know Final Fantasy IV is great. I've played it. I would consider streaming that at some point. I just know that a lot of the dungeons go on and go on and go on and go on, but... I liked it. I'm... five. See, now, now I'm getting a request for literally every Final Fantasy game that's ever been made. So, so let's just stick with six for now. I'm streaming six. I'm gonna enjoy that. Cute. Excellent! Man, that really damages your own party member. I'm just gonna, like, destroy the slime and then move on to the next game. But this is really cool. I like that Pichu is a summon. Music is this now? Twilight Princess. 
the fuck? Oh. I mean, I can't complain. I love this one. Yeah. This is a really great Hyrule field. Maybe one of the best. If not the best. In my personal opinion. Like here. It's one of my favorite parts in any Zelda game music. Doesn't really loop very well, but that's okay. Yeah, kind of a cool little game. I didn't expect myself to enjoy that as much as I did, but it's good. <laughs> Finally, stick figures. This is what we are all here for. Hello, comrade. Welcome to the complex. I will now show you how to draw this stick figure this is the devs of Among Us Dude, wow Proto Among Us Ah, uh, hello Henry Welcome to the wall Some of the most cunning and notorious criminals are kept here now we have the infamous Henry Stick. You're going to be here for a long time. Grigori, take him. You wait here until cell found. Um, boost up. Um, boost up, play dead, charge tackle. Oh no no! Speech acrobatics. <laughs> nice Tony Hawk reference. Not only is prepared to climb, but climb. Wow. Tool gun from Gary's mod. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. You've been kicked from fleeing the complex for cheating. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. Voice, yeah. Uh, sir, I got a message. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like, uh, Henry Stickman? Stick- Stickman? Yeah, Henry Stickman has escaped. Mm -hmm. You still there? Attention! We have an escaped convict. No, I've never played this one. Is this now Fire Emblem? <laughs> or Advance Wars, or both? And it's Punch-Out. Never mind, it's- it's just everywhere, and all- it's everywhere all at once. There's a remastered version of this on Steam. I, I believe it. Freddy? How many nights do you have to spend there to get spooked by the Frepper? Alright, he's up here somewhere. We cannot let him get through this gate. Oh, nice art. Hey, you wanna trade arts? Costume. Hey, so nice. Frosty's escaping! Are you... You bastard. Is this a uh, heavy weapons guy reference? <laughs> Castle Crashers. Oh man, I haven't played that in a long fucking time. Uh, 
Uh oh, I forgot to press a button. Still alive! I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the wall, but this is the end for you. You've got two options here, Henry. You stay in there, or you return with us back to the complex. What's it going to be, Henry? Good. I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the wall. But, but you have to end find end. out what it is. We've got two options here, Henry. That you prison was an there. earlier game. <laughs> Good. Airbags save lives. I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the wall. But this is the end for you. We've got two options here, Henry. You stay in there, or you return with us back to the complex. What's it going to be, Henry? Hmm, well, that's just too bad. Alright, everyone back to work. I will not forget about this. This is coming out of your paycheck, all of you. The only winning move was to not play. Rank presumed dead. That seems like a pretty good ending. Do one more. <laughs> really smooth stick animations, too. <laughs> Ellie will remember that. <laughs> At this point, he has only like 10 health left. And he plays, the gates are open. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. Yeah, I have to do the Zelda reference. I ended up buffing up my guys and... A lot of good references tonight. Lots of good Zelda references. <laughs> too, too bad you didn't know how to play, like, the Ocarina. Um... <laughs> Fart sauce? My guys and... Oh, come on. Are you serious? That was totally you. You what? Don't you accuse me. You what? Just admit it. It wasn't me. Mate, I'm not, I'm not even fucking Russian, mate. Hmm. Oh. No! Mario 2 power- or as I called it, the constipation jump. Balloon, button, bungee. Balloon. That's how balloons work, right? Actually, that's fine. The balloon got so big, it got stuck in the elevator shaft. I accept. Here I am questioning balloons while the dude just used the hook shot. Alright, uh, plunger boots, of course. Nope. Are you? Don Madden. This guy is sick. He make the sick fart noise. God. This fucking guy. I have never seen, but I... Hey, 
SS Annie. Uh, rocket or dinghy. Dinghy. I blinded the G-Man. I, I was probably looking over at Someone chat for a second, leave. yeah. Think of a smith. Oh, yeah. Probably off to see his family. Yeah. Ghost inmate. One more. He's Grigori. Yeah, you know new one, Henry? He's dead. Yes. Really Put him awful noise. Okay. Mm. Well. All right, I'll save Ellie. Thanks. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing like 70 damage. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, tall guy. Oh, yeah, last night I kept facing the same deck. Hey, buddy. I love the old tall guy routine. Oh, shit. I thought that was gonna work. Oh yeah, last night. Okay. I'm sorry. What? What is this? <laughs> what? It's just a meme dance. Okay. Oh yeah, last night. I kept facing the same deck. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, last night, I kept- Someone was doing it last time you were in VR chat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If we can get you up there, you could get in and open this door. I'm not good at recognizing different dances. Um, grenade, one each. Grenade taser. Too too much of an explosion. Dick. Ah. Uh -oh. Uh, so, logical. You say all inmates is out of cell. Yeah, some idiot must hey, have opened Hey, I just the grabbed doors. these. Maybe they'll come in handy. Are we Sniper had an instant replay. I you press. Dorters presents Don Do. Fight me, mate. I'll wreck you. <laughs> Why am I laughing at this? What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh. Okay, good. Hold the elevator. Thanks. Can you believe this inmate operating? Crazy, huh? Yes, it is pretty crazy. Oh, are you guys new here? Oh yeah, we transferred from the eighth floor. Go. The cafeteria. Nice try, inmates. We'll regroup with that. There is convict here. Get down on ground. Make a face. What, you think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Thanks. <laughs> 
Somehow that was correct. No, let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't him, there has not been an incident here in Shit! I deserve that for ending too. You are going to regret everything. Oh no, this is perfect. Hell yeah! Skull yeah, brother! What is the knee? Oh, you dick. <laughs> perfect. This is fantastic. This is so good. <sighs> One more? All right, let's go. Have a good time. Yeah, there's an entire remastered version on Steam, I know. <coughs> this is the fourth in the series. Uh Well, maybe one day I'll I'll revisit this on another Sunday stream. That could be cool. Laser plane. The fuck is this? Yes, hello. Henry? Where are you? Uh, in the complex? Called the wall? Oh, yeah, yes, of course, sir. We'll, uh, we'll be right there. Uh, sit tight. Uh, I I'll let you know when we're close. Previous game reference. Fair. Where, where exactly are you? Cafeteria. Mm, okay, got the map here. Uh, yes, there you are. All right. How do you want to do this? Uh, d drill pod. Come on, Henry. We have to go. Get to the airship. I need to use this to get there. I mean, you're free. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, it's doing, like, meta jokes. Dogs have feet? Well, yeah! Press the sun for a sneaky ending. What the fuck? Let me try that again. Um... Santa. Yes! <laughs> it said don't press this button. Too late. It's much too late. Close one, Henry, but I'm not going In the sneaky you ending, you can Is click the sun. You? Oh. I become the leader of the Toppet clan again. I just wanted to look you in the eyes as I took it all back. Goodbye. No. Which one was the sneaky ending? Was it, um... Did I get it? I think that, yeah, I think that was a, t a Total Biscuit reference. The ghost inmate. TB is the betrayed. Oh, well, I saw the top hat, so. Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah? Oh, Henry! Oh, how's it going? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Huh. Yeah, I'm, uh, Chat knows right who now, the actually. stick figure is. Where, uh, where are you? I don't know how they know this. Yeah, I think I've heard of that place. Actually, I'm uh, I'm pretty close. 
Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on a mission, but uh, I should have some time to swing by. Yeah, just uh, try to get outside and I'll, I'll uh, you know. Where are you going? What? Hey, so, uh, I see the wall. So many powers. Outside? Nice. I think I see you. Yeah, there's a guard in the way. I got this. Yeah, it'll, it'll be just like the old times. Yeah. Snipe. Got him. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? And there you go. Hey, I'm seeing a helipad up here. Could be a pretty good place to get picked up. Uh, once I get close, though, they'll uh, they'll probably raise the alarm. Oh, yeah, they see me. I'm coming in. Get ready. Yeah, hey, I like this guy. It's, it's cool. Uh, well, we'll just go to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I pick good choices sometimes. There you go. We didn't see all of it, but this was really cool. Kind of surprised I've never even, like, heard of this shit. This is the shit that I've heard of. I've spent a lot of time playing this. And this may look like Flappy Bird, but this was before Flappy Bird, so... There's a weight to this helicopter. It gets a little ridiculous. Like, there's a certain part that I just can't get past, and I don't even think I'm gonna make it to that point, but... It's a floppy copter. Very good. I especially love when the sound effect, uh, clicks. Very addictive, but moving on. Mo Fun Zone. I love when people that made like little flash uh, movies and games uh, invented their own like studio name. It was fun. This was made by Uncle Funzalo. So yeah, Migraine War. I uh, don't know what the fuck this is either. Music sounds vaguely familiar. Is this like a Warcraft 3 mod? Yeah, mummy. Yeah, mummy's winning. Well, the music is, is going hard! But yeah, this is something that I remember playing in Warcraft 3. There were maps like this where you'd choose your, you know... Your units, you'd earn money, you'd get more units, and then you just send them out.
don't really have enough money for any special... Spent all my money on that damn mummy. Glorious Morning by Waterflame, featured in a bunch of other Flash games. It's like the perfect music for a Flash game. Moon Waltz is next. Was that an Among Us? Very Seuss. Press spacebar to reveal the moon. What the fuck is this? Goblins don't exist. Goblins don't exist. So sometimes you press a button, and sometimes you don't. And that's the whole game. Not quite as advanced as modern gaming, where you just click on the- on the person's head, and then they die. But still pretty cool. Jekyll and Hyde NES. This is ten times better than the Jekyll and Hyde game on the NES. This game is werewolves. Yes, it is, actually. Truth- truthfully. Sometimes you don't want to be a werewolf because you don't want to anger the priests and the snipers, but other times you need to be a werewolf. It's like a little puzzle game. Mousetrap. Trap the mouse by using the pillars. Score zero. Okay. End game. Played this. Oh, wow. Wow. There's another one that was very popular. Fucking hell. This one had, like, really good, um, physics to it. Someone just said, peak Y2K aesthetic. <laughs> And yet, I am struggling with it. Oh, okay, because you have to, like, use the box. That'll give you momentum. This was another one to play in school. I mean, you shouldn't, because, you know, you, you wouldn't get good grades, but... Click the explosion button. What's the explosion button? Oh. Alright, um, we're almost approaching the end of this flash pack. Got a couple more. Ripple dot zero. An error has occurred. Stack trace null. 
Okay. Email this web zone for, for tech, <laughs> tech support. Reloading the Flash player may help. Good point. This is like that time I got a stack dump. Nope, still doesn't work. Now, you've seen this. If you've watched our charity streams, you know that Rev plays this, and you know that this is kind of his thing. I don't want to play this. But I have to show you a little bit of it. This is the most frustrating game ever. <laughs> oh, this fucking music. And Rev is really good at this too, somehow. He figured it out. Foul. Foul ball. God damn it. God damn it. On level one? Oh, God. Pooh ball level one failure to Eeyore? Oh, I got it now. Someone just said losing to Igor, Omega Lull. <laughs> yep, Igor. Please. Please, Igor, please. I win. So again, I would uh, recommend watching Rev play this, especially when he gets to Christopher Robin, who is the ultimate pitcher. Like, this dude is the best pitcher in all of baseball that has ever lived and ever will live. It's like the Final Fantasy, like, god that you have to fight at the end of every game. your character too. I'll just do a couple more. Lumpy! I don't remember any Winnie the Pooh from when I was a kid. I really don't. Humpy! Hey, I got pretty good at the first couple levels at least. I mean, I'm not planning on fighting Christopher Robin, so... I won't have a chance to feel... Um, defeated. Okay, so somehow I've lost my mojo. Wasn't there a pitcher who pitched a perfect game on LSD?
Doc Ellis. The fucking legend. I can't do it now. Somehow, Palpatine has returned. I was, like, perfect. And then it just went to shit. Piglet. Alright, Piglet. This is where I fail. Jesus. Are you kidding me, Piglet? Piglet! I can't believe I'm losing a Piglet. Probably not gonna happen, chat. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Fuck. It's over. Defeated. And now I must die. By one, I let the pig win. Man. And one more. I was going to end with that one, but I'll end with this. Super Smash Flash 2 Beta. It's still in beta. Wow. Oh yeah, this is a thing that's actually happening. I saw this. This is, um... Uh, another Smash-like game that's coming out that has a lot of indie, um, characters. So how is it in this? How's the advertisement? Weird. Same devs, but yeah, I'm wondering, like, I guess this must connect to the internet? Or this is a newer download of it? I'm not sure. DMCA! DMCA 2! Coming for you! Shot in your downstream! <laughs> okay, Super Smash Flash 2. Choose your character! Who we got? See, now Black Mage is just. Really cool. Um, it's weird that we have kind of most of these characters at this point. Like, even the ones that seem fairly outlandish. Uh, obviously, N Naruto is in here. We, we don't have Naruto in actual Smash. Naruto. 
Still don't have Waluigi. Yeah, we got Naruto already. We're gonna do... what stage are we doing? Something really... I don't know, outlandish for Smash? Um, I don't know. Hidden Beef? What the fuck is Hidden Beef? Planet Newark? Oh, Planet Namek. Wait, that's Dragon Ball Z. That works. Three, two, one, go! I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm playing with keyboard, so... <laughs> This is also in a very small resolution, so I probably have to, like, full screen it. But it's cool. I mean, this does not feel like a beta. Be cool after the Nintendo bullshit. Everyone just gets together and plays this and raises, like, you know, a million dollars for charity. But this specifically. Vinny, this has controller support. Oh, cool. cool to have an actual Black Mage in Smash Brothers or Vivi. I feel like the Black Mage is even more emblematic of, um, or more iconic in some ways of Final Fantasy than Cloud. And I love Cloud, obviously. I'm a big Final Fantasy VII fan, but the Black Mage feels like it covers more Final Fantasy history. Low brain. Wait, why am I here? Game! This game's winner is... Black Mage. Okay. Why is Luffy's arm so long? What- do I not know? I do not know. Bandana D! Well, I'm gonna play as Rayman, and I'm going to have, instead of me... Uh, yeah, 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 Sora, instead of... Naruto. Luffy is a rubber ma rubber man. Oh, like a rubber ninja. Here's a question. Like Fantastic Four, rubber man. really good for Flash. I love that the sandbag is alive. I'm kind of 
like surprised we haven't seen that already. Like so such a perfect idea. Vinny, it's not made in Flash. This dev, this has been in development since like 2009. Jesus. Normally, I would go on about how ridiculous this matchup is and how outlandish it would be for these characters to fight, but then if you think of actual Smash Brothers and where we are right now, this is not that crazy. Like, sure, Goku is kind of fucking weird. Steve versus Solid Snake. Versus We Fit Trainer versus um, Pac Man. <laughs> I mean, take your pick. There you go. So, Flash, we will miss you. People will find a way. Flash will continue. I believe that. It's sad to see it go. But it's been a good run, and it was a really big part of my childhood. And every time I think of Flash, I think about wasting time in a way that I enjoyed, and thus it wasn't wasted. Flash, I salute you. Godspeed. You will be missed. USA. <laughs> it'll be... it'll be back. All right, chat, thank you for watching this um, segment. Thank you for everyone that contributed to the segment. This was fun. Some of these games really kept my attention for way longer than I thought they would, which is the sign of lots of good games. Turns out Flash had both good and bad games. Who would have thought? If you want, chat, you can stick around and I will be back. I'll be back with more stuff, including something very good in regards to Mario and Luigi.